Hey guys, welcome to another video. This time I'm going to talk about my feelings. Yeah, um, climate change is still a, a big issue to me and you're about to vote for a guy that thinks uh, climate change is a hoax. Now, we've got records being set almost every month. Surface temperatures, the ocean heat content, sea level rise, sea ice extent, uh, glacier melt, um, the poleward migration of plants and animals, um, thousands of them, and, and it's all evidence of a warming planet. Um, bushfires, um, season getting longer, um, there's more flooding, there's uh, more storm activity, um, higher amount of water vapour in, in the, the atmosphere, um, the cooling of the stratosphere, there's so much evidence that if you want to pretend that it's not happening, um, I can only assume that you're doing that to make yourself feel better about the, the way you behave and the emissions that you make. And to vote for a president that thinks it's a hoax because he can shout at things and make them disappear um, just seems absurd. We've got our own senator here, one of our senators, is uh, Malcolm Roberts uh, for One Nation somehow uh, got voted in and here's what he has to say. It's basic. The sun warms the Earth's surface. The surface by contact with the warm by contact warms the moving circulating atmosphere. That means the atmosphere cools the surface. How then can the, can the atmosphere warm it? It can't. So that's uh, Malcolm Roberts giving us his theory on why the uh, climate change is all one big hoax. Now, of course, it's very easy to, to point the flaw in his arguments. Um, I mean, aside from the fact that he has worked for coal companies in the past, you should... You should um, at least listen to people, um, but you also have to listen to the experts that publish climate science, and they have explained why greenhouse gases warm the planet many times over, and, and it is very simple, and, and the flaw in um, Mr. Roberts's argument is that the outward bound radiation gets trapped by the gases and re-radiated in all directions. Some of that goes up, some of it comes back down. The stuff that comes back down warms the surface more than it otherwise would be. It reduces the flow of outgoing radiation, if you like. Um, there's an equation even that talks about uh, the speed that radiation will uh, and go from one object to another based on the, the difference in temperature between those two objects. Um, and the analogy that climate scientists use is that of a blanket, and it's really simple. If I hop into bed at night and I'm, I'm climbing into a cold bed, the blankets on my bed are cold to begin with, but they warm as my body emits the heat, and that soaks into the blankets. The blankets are, are re-emitting that heat in all directions, and that's reducing the amount that, that leaves my body because it, it's coming back towards me. And if you feel cold at night, you will often put on a, an, another blanket. Well, that's exactly what we're doing with the greenhouse gases. We're putting another blanket of um, gas, if you like, into the atmosphere. We're thickening up that blanket. And um, it simply traps more heat. Um, it does this in the infrared um, spectrum. So, you know, the, the science is well explained. And if people want to ignore it and um, think it's all a hoax, then that, that's not because the science isn't clear on this. It is really clear. And to me, um, I find this really frustrating, disappointing. Um, it makes me angry that, that people um, will ignore the science and continue emitting when we're doing so much damage to the planet. In Australia... We lost 22%, almost a quarter of our Great Barrier Reef this year, to a bleaching event, the warming of the oceans, uh, much warmer than usual. And if they persist being warm, which will happen more often in a warming planet, 
um, then we're going to lose more and more of this reef. And um, that to me, it's just um, unbelievable. I, I can't really fathom why people um, won't act more to reduce emissions or, or vote in politicians that are going to put in place the technology that we need to transition to a, a renewable future. And um, it's depressing, um, but I'm going to keep fighting because that's what I know how to do best. Thanks for watching.